Hello there, viewers. Um, today's video is going to be kind of like a little, I don't know, informational video. Just a little quick uh, fix on um, if you have an ASUS ROG B450 motherboard. Um, the current issue I was having um, was whenever I would install internal hard drives, um, for some reason the motherboard would not recognize it and it would not come up onto the operating system um, in terms of when you go to the file folder down here and I'll show you in a minute. Now the issue was is whenever I would hook up a, a standard hard drive inside um, internally running off the SATA ports it would not recognize it. Um, it would when I would first turn the computer on, you know, it would go through its self-check, which this motherboard specifically has that feature where it'll test the RAM, the CPU, and um, the graphics interface, whether it's on board or a graphics card, just to make sure everything's working. But um, what would happen is, for some reason, the, um, I guess it's the, not the boot menu, but like the BIOS where the logo pops up and stuff. Before I would install an internal hard drive, it would, you know, boot up pretty fast. But as soon as I put a hard drive inside, um, I would have issues to where it would just stay on the, the logo screen um, for a few seconds, probably like 10, 15 seconds, before it would finally boot up into Windows. So, um, the system I have now is running a uh, one terabyte SSD on the SATA ports. Um, with a two terabyte backup, but the two terabyte backup is actually running off of USB 3.0. It's like one of those little portable drives I got. But if we go here into our files, we see we have. Let me zoom in for you. We have a our main um, SSD here, our main storage, um, local disk C, and then file storage, which is two terabytes. You can probably see here. But I thought originally it may have been something to do with the BIOS, maybe like, um, cause I have it in ACHI mode, advanced host, or uh, advanced control host, something like that. Um, anyway, ACHI, or, uh, I would have to put it, um, in RAID mode, but like I said, currently I have it in ACH, ACHI mode. I hope I said that correctly in order. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, anyway, but um, I tried switching it to RAID. Thought maybe that might have been the issue because I thought the issue was maybe because I'm using an SSD and a standard mechanical drive. Uh, for some reason, it wouldn't be compatible. I don't know, just because the SSD is faster, so it configures differently. But um, specifically, it was just something very simple. Now, I currently have... Um, in here in the system right now a another hard drive in here which is a Seagate um, I think it's a Seagate um, 500 gigabyte standard mechanical hard drive um, just to, to show you for this test nothing on it, it's just a plain hard drive so I'm gonna close out of this and if you see here now, I would actually show you the boot up menu and all that and what I'm talking about, but I just don't want the video to be too long. But if you look over here in my system, if you look right there where those red wires are, I wonder if you can get a better view. You can, if I can angle it for you guys. If you can see right here, these are my SATA ports. Um, they're stacked, so you got six total. But you see how I have this configured? over all the way to the end and this is number one on top of that's number two number three is on the bottom right here number four is at the top number five and number six which is what this hard drive is plugged into the 500 gigabyte hard drive so for some reason what you have to do is of course turn, shut your computer down make sure that's everything goes off and all you have to do is you disconnect if it's not in order you have to configure it in order meaning how I have this plugged into the sixth port here the SATA port I actually have to plug it into number two so we'll go ahead and do that now of 
plug this into number two. So now the main operating system is plugged into number one and the 500 gigabyte hard drive is plugged into port number two or SATA port number two. So we'll move around to this and we'll turn on the computer. Wait for it to boot up. And now let's go to our file. Let's go to this PC. And see, now we have our third hard drive right here. So, I thought I'd just share this with anybody out there that's having this, is this issue, geez, I can't speak, uh, with their system, specifically on the B450 uh, motherboards. Let me zoom out on this. Um, this is the model uh, B450F is what I'm using right here with a Ryzen 5 3600. Uh, CPU, but yeah, I thought it was just kind of funny um, because I originally, when I first bought this PC, I bought a two terabyte mechanical internal hard drive, and I thought it was actually broke. And I went into the BIOS, I can did a lot of configuration settings, but even when I go into the BIOS, the BIOS wouldn't even recognize the drive if it's not in order. So you have to put it in SATA one is like your main drive. If you have a second drive, you have to put it in SATA 2, SATA 3, SATA 4, 5, and so forth, depending on how many ports are on your motherboard. So it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm not sure why ASUS has it set up in this manner. Um, that's the first time I've ever actually had this issue with um, a computer. Um, usually you just stick it in any SATA port that's available and it would work. But for some reason, for this particular model, I don't know about the the tough gaming model and then the B450, I think it's I or the Pro. Not sure how those are set up, but uh, I thought I'd just share this with anybody that's having a little trouble uh, with setting up um, internal hard drives with this particular model. But um, that's pretty much all I have to say, and uh, thanks for watching.